Here we are at the FEM Summer School for Postdocs. Uh, would you mind introducing yourself and just telling me about the institution that you work in? So my name is Julia. I work in Paris at the Pasteur Institute mm -hmm. in a unit that is filled with the geneticist. And actually I, I was hired uh, in that unit to bring a different approach on the same topic, which is a vulnerability to um, antibiotic resistance and to environmental stresses. Mm -hmm. The lab led by Didier Mazel is uh, mostly focusing on um, genetic uh, stability and maintenance and all the diversity that contribute to bacterial adaptation, but also on, on bacterial uh, um, evolution of uh, antibiotic resistance. And uh, I'm bringing a, a slightly different approach, which is a um, combination of uh, microscopy and microfluidic to actually look at the, the cell behavior at the cellular level and also at the population, the whole population dynamics. Okay. Have you found the experience then of the summer school? in relation to your research as well. So this is, the, the summer school is totally focused on, on a topic that I've been studying for uh, now since my, my PhD. I always worked on the so perfect, perfect, yeah, adaptation to stress of bacteria, mostly antibiotic driven. And I, I mean, I actually explored the question at various level of the cell organization. PhD was mostly focused on the molecular. And then I moved during my postdoc in the US on cellular level and population. And now I'm, I'm exposed again here at the summer school with the more molecular aspect of the bacterial evolvability. So it's great for me to catch up with the uh, novelties in the field. And I'm, I'm super happy to be here and, and speakers and also the audience is just lovely and, and yeah. perfect. Have you found lots of crossover between your research and their research or what has it been like to work with all these different scientists? Some of the postdoc, I think they, they they relate on, on my research because uh, um, there's always like one filamentation form, for instance, that is induced by antibiotic uh, uh, treatment that happen in their project. And they were curious about that because I spoke about cell shape changes when you treat um, with antibiotics and, and many students actually um, were interested about that. And then in the second talk I gave, it was more about the membrane vesicles that are highly produced during antibiotic treatment. And also uh, I had a chance to discuss with some of the postdocs that they were also interested in, in the content of the vesicles that they could find or, or, um, or the, their bug that they're working on is also producing vesicles. And, and there's always a little connection that we can make, even though that this is not their topic. Yeah. I think you, that's the way it works. You're learning from uh, the talks of other speakers. Okay. The idea is that the mentors are giving ideas to the students in a way, but have you felt anything coming back the other way? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I got many questions and, and I was a little frustrated at the end of the talk. It was super active and uh, super interactive, sorry. And, and actually I really enjoyed the format of like being interrupted every time they had a question, because if you wait until the end of the, the talk, then you forget. Yeah. So it was r very rich to have it in this format so that the students and the postdocs would just interrupt any time something would come to their mind and, and I was super open to it and, and a little bit frustrated that I couldn't actually take note of the question because yeah. I thought, oh, that's a good point. I haven't thought about that, but I will look, I will look it up. This worked uh, very well. Yeah, and the environment here has been quite relaxed and informal all week, is that right? Absolutely, yes. So, and I, sh I think because it's so relaxed, it actually allows this kind of uh, interaction. They, they're not shy to ask questions mm -hmm. when they need to, and um, no, it makes it very enjoyable. Mm -hmm. So is there anything that you're going to take back to your research after this week that you immediately want to start working on or anything that's like piqued your interest in a new idea? I don't think I will start a new project based on what I learned here, but these are definitely many, many ideas that I pulled in my mind and I will definitely consider also maybe um, strengthening some collaboration that are already started with some of the mentors here. So it just, yeah, it's going to spiral up. And So did you know all the other mentors before or just a few? I mean, have you made deeper connections with them as well? Uh, not all of them, so that's a, a good point actually. I think half of them I knew from uh, conferences and, and one of them is, is a colleague of mine, we, we collaborate. Um, so I met them yeah, at 
conference is also related to backyard evolvability because in the end when you think about that it's a, it's a small world so we always happen to meet but I, I was actually very glad to meet new people like uh, Lawrence and uh, even Miro I didn't get a chance to actually meet him very well I met him like a while ago but I was still a student and yeah. uh, I mean you gain maturity and then you understand better. At a level maybe, yeah. Yeah, it just like uh, I think I also evolved and I maybe I understood better things or the way maybe you would enroll um, the hypothesis he had on this research. Because his conceptual level is so high, so advanced, the way he looks at all of these different, I don't know, even like RNA mechanisms or any of the stuff he's presented I've seen in the past has always just been fascinating. No, I think he's lucky, I mean, to be able to zoom out yeah. on, a, on a problem and then like bring different perspectives. I would love to have his knowledge and, and just think of a problem the way mm -hmm. he thinks about. So if, uh, if a, you know, a young postdoc is watching us in this video, what would you say they would get out of this summer school if they haven't been before? I would tell them that you learn a lot because the environment is very prone to interactions and questions and, and the idea is really to brainstorm about a topic. It's not like I'm going to show you my research and then you swallow it and then this is it. It's always open questions in the field mm -hmm. and I think we are inviting the students to think about the field from different angles and different approaches with always open questions mm -hmm. and we try to raise those questions so it invites the students or the postdoc to discussions right yeah. and maybe they can also relate their own project to the question that we are raising awesome well thanks a lot for your time Thank it's you. fascinating to chat and yeah i hope that anyone watching this is inspired to come and join another summer school with <sighs> mentors like yourself yeah thank you thanks a lot